she's climbing up on the couch and having a sleep and now getting up and deciding oh, what am I going to do? Huh? I'm going to sit back down. Oh, where are you going now? Come sit with me. Okay. <laughs> come on, come up here. Come up here. Come on, up here. Come on, you can do it. You can make it. Come on. I believe in you. You can make it. You can do it with three legs. I know you can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, good girl. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Not quite ready yet, huh? Okay. Bit of an um, weird, unflattering way to, to sit there, Scully. Just, yeah. Um, look, I, I, I won't say anything about that. She's comfortable, that's what matters. You want an ice pack? An ice pack? Ice pack. <sighs> the instructions we received from the vet say to give her um, some application of an ice pack a couple times a day for a few minutes. So I wrapped up the ice pack in the t-shirt and uh, put it against her body there so she can get some relief from the swelling. And uh, after doing it a few times, I found that it definitely calms her down, um, you know, for a few hours after she gets relief from the ice. So the t-shirt has an ice pack in it and it's um, leaning up against her, her wound against the shoulder. Good girl. Made it all the way over to litter box by yourself. I didn't have to help you or anything. That's amazing. So does she get the second fentanyl patch? No, but well, she shouldn't technically need it.
good actually. This is the bit of difficulty, but it's minimally minimally bruised, the skin looks good, she's happy with me touching around it. And I was actually so impressed with her on Saturday when she came in. Yeah. Let's see how good it is there. Scully. Scully. Hey. Look at you, you look so silly in that collar. What out, don't you? Sorry, not yet. You're pretty happy to have that bandage off now, aren't you? Yeah.